Good morning, it's Friday here at the Two Crazy Keto's house and we're getting a little bit of a late jump on the day. It's 8 a.m. already. But today we're going to do a keto full day of eating. And we'll get our day started right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. Sometimes we do full day of eatings. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for a keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah look what came in the mail today i am so excited i'm gonna bring this in the house and i am doing a review on this today let me go show rachel hey look what came i got super coffee <gasps> this oh. is that new maple one yay i cannot wait to try this i'm gonna open this up and try it well i'm gonna go take a shower well that's perfect because while you're taking a shower i can go do a review since you're not drinking coffee um no sir what i'm actually i'm going to break my coffee fast with this okay so we're doing a review of it but i'm not promising you're getting any more than just your your like trial for the review i gotta find a really big cup <laughs> is this a coffee size cup or this this that's not as big as your little mugs you don't think so no do i have anything bigger this That's one? my mug. That's my mug. Where's your Star Wars mug? It depends on how. Wait, wait. Get your Star Wars mug. I have it. Wait, I have it. Here's my coffee mug. It even has a handle on it. When you're married to Joe Stolfer, you've got UPS and FedEx coming at the same time. It's 10.30 in the morning, I'm at work, and I completely forgot we're doing a keto full day of eating. So let me catch you up on what's been happening. I had one of these Zevias. This is the root beer flavor. I love this flavor. It's actually Rachel's favorite. And whenever I put them in the refrigerator, I have to like grab them before her, otherwise she will drink them all. It's her favorite Zevia flavor. Then I also had a little bit of a slip up. It's not a slip up getting off of keto, but you know, Anthony always asks me like, why don't you keep keto snacks in the car? And it's because if they're in the car, I'm going to eat them. And he likes to eat them in the car as well. And I was going through the center console and I found one of these little Vermont mini sticks. So I ate it. You know, it's not a bad thing. I think it's like 50 calories, if that, maybe even 25. I'm not even sure it's not like written on here. I know it's zero carbs, but my point is if I have something in the car, I'm going to eat it. So at least it's a zero or one carb thing. The other thing that I have in here is the Stoker granola, but because I know that there's a bunch of total carbs in there, I kind of steer away from it. I let Anthony eat that stuff, but I don't know, man. This is why I don't keep stuff in the car because if I have it, I'm gonna eat it. So this isn't for two crazy kiddos. This is for the church because we've got so many kiddos. We've got to get extra chairs. That's an awesome problem to have. However, I'm not too excited about moving all of these boxes into my garage. I cannot believe that it is 11 o'clock already, but we've had a very full morning. My mom came over and I made her a coffee. I didn't drink a coffee, but she had a coffee. And then she stayed here with the window guys because we were having windows installed. And that way I could go and take Caleb to work because he um, got a job this week. So exciting. He's working with a printing company and he is totally excited about it. Um, I am now home. I've moved all of the shipping into the garage. That took a minute. And now I'm having a Zevia energy drink. This is actually the second like fuel source of the morning earlier at like five o'clock in the morning. I had a zip fizz, a limon zip fizz, but yeah, I drank it before I even thought, Hey, I should probably video this, but yeah, that was done. Um, yesterday I put on Instagram that I had found these puppies, 50 of the little individual Play-Dohs for just $10. That makes them 20 cents a piece. And I'm going to be giving them out this year for Halloween. And I was thinking, what are some other candy alternatives that you can find for cheap? I'm trying to keep this at 20 cents per 
trick-or-treater and that may sound cheap but like I'm just trying to make sure I stay within a budget because we get like 300 trick-or-treaters there's a lot so we have to buy a lot of items so yesterday I spent you know 50 bucks buying no 60 because I had to buy six sets of these guys I also bought these these were um like glitter what is it uh slime little individual package things. Now these were a little bit more. These, these were um, 24 for $10. So I guess that's about like 40 cents a piece. But I figured this might be a nice little extra gift to give when somebody has like, you know, elevated the bar for, lifted the bar for, for dressing up. When we have like, you know, who we think is a winning costume, we can give them something a little extra and fancy and I thought that that would be fun. I'm also going to be printing out some little stickers that say like best costume or awesome costume so that we can kind of like give little awards out from our Halloween trick or treat table as a family. So yeah, I'm aiming for 20 cents per trick or treater because most of the um, deals on candy bags are like, 150 pieces of candy for $15. That was like the cheapest one I saw at Costco yesterday. And so that's what, 10 cents per piece of candy. But like who is giving just one piece of candy out, right? You're at least going to be giving out two pieces of candy. So I figured 20 cents was a good goal. So now I'm gonna head out to Target and Walmart and see are there any other goodies that are this good that we could give out for trick-or-treating that would be 20 cents or below per person. So this may seem very boring, but look, I got a new window in my bathroom and you can't see out and you can't see in. I am loving it. Our windows were as old as Methuselah, as they say, and they were letting all of our air conditioning out. So I am super excited about windows. So what do you do when you have a 100 pound dog who just wants to be lazy and lay in the middle of the floor and she is not going to move? You're gonna just have to step over her. Tabitha, what are you doing? Tabitha, sit. Good girl. So before I go to the store, I wanted to show you guys I'm bringing a price list cheat sheet with me for just quick reference and you're gonna laugh so hard because Rachel and math however I don't want to just go to the Dollar Tree and try to find things that are five toys for a dollar because honestly sometimes the Dollar Tree toys don't last long enough for the trick-or-treaters to get out of my driveway and I really would like to give them a treat that is fun and will last a little longer than you know getting out of my driveway so I'm going to probably go to Walmart and Target and I might not find a bunch of stuff in their dollar section that is five for a dollar I may have to go to their party section or their toy section and find things that are in bulk so I want to look quickly at my list and say okay if this is a bag that costs $25 I'm gonna need at least 125 items in that bag to make it worth the value. Like it's gonna be 20 cents or less per item. So I just wanna know like, okay, quickly $15. All right, I'm looking for 75 items in the bag. It'll just help me go quicker, shop quicker, and I won't have to be constantly referencing my calculator. Well, I'm home and Rachel's not. I don't know where she's at. Hopefully she'll get home soon, but I am really hungry. It's about one o'clock. So I think I'm gonna go eat, especially considering I eat considerably more calories than she does. And so usually I like to eat like away from her for one of my meals so that she doesn't feel bad that she's getting like 600 calories less than me. But on a side note, we got our new windows in. Take a look at these. We had brand new windows put all throughout the house. And uh, these are hurricane windows, but more importantly, they, uh, keep out all of the heat. I think like 98% of the heat or some ridiculous number like that. And we're hoping it's gonna keep the house a little bit cooler because our old windows were like these crank ones that all leaked a lot of air. And in the afternoon, the room was like 20 degrees hotter than it should be. So between this and adding attic insulation last year, we should be good. So since I have a game tonight, I think I'm going to have a zip fizz to get ready. So let's grab one. This is how you play zip fizz roulette. 
Yes, the good flavor, orange cream. I think we have a blender bottle problem. What do you guys think? Just a few. We're gonna use this one now. I love this thing, it's stainless steel. I was thinking about ordering these for two crazy ketos. So the first thing I would probably head for is these erasers, which are like 60 for a dollar. That's a huge value. However, they're really super tiny. And honestly, by the time you get them as a trick or treat thing, they're not cool anymore, right? Who wants to play with a trick or treat pumpkin the day after Halloween? So I'm actually going to look for something different than Halloween themed items. So here is a great idea. I'm in the party section and they have these little favor packs. There's 48 pieces in a bag. Usually they're around $9, which fits into my, my little list if I spend nine dollars i should have 45 items so this one has 48 pieces so that's good however if you get one of the party sets that are on clearance now i'm only going to pay four dollars and 68 cents for everything that's in this bag and that's going to provide a lot of things for trick-or-treaters okay i probably would not buy these because i'm not like super keen on the ingredients but how hilarious is this it does meet our requirement for $9, I need 45 items in the box to make it 20 cents a piece, and you can pass out Slim Jims. 46 sticks for just $9. I am trapped in this parking lot labyrinth. I can't seem to get out, but I spotted these geese. How cute are these guys? Are y'all here for the winter? You may think this is kind of a silly idea, but let me tell you, I spend a lot of time with toddlers. They love these playpen balls. You can just buy a bag of these. Um, there's a hundred in them for $13. That's an incredible value. They can pick out whatever color that they like. They're gonna love these. This is gonna be the hit of the night. Glow in the dark party favors are great for Halloween. I like giving these to the kids just so that they're playing with something where the cars can see them while they're trick or treating. So um, in order for me to spend four dollars the value needs to be 20 items in the bag and this pack has 24 pieces this item isn't going to last the kids very long but it is kind of a fun idea kids love these party poppers and you get 10 of them for a dollar 47. now these are over budget at 43 cents per serving but how cool are these they're water beads when you add water to them put them in a container they grow six times um, the size that they are in these little packages but this would be a really neat giveaway at just you know 43 cents per trick-or-treater look how fun it looks like they also sell these water beads in bulk if you want to reduce the price and just grab some of these reclosable bags out of their jewelry section a hundred of them are less than two dollars and you can make your own little you know water bead sets I'm sure online you can buy them at a much greater value and you definitely want to give these out to older kids I wouldn't give these out to toddlers obviously you know you want to let the kids know what it is that they have there it's not candy don't eat this here are individual glitter glue sticks they come in a variety of of colors and they're just a dollar 27 for 10. I am here in the wedding section in the craft section at Walmart and they have a hundred bubble wands for $15 and I know they're really plain and wedding-y but if I grab a couple of their dollar stickers and put a sticker of either like Disney princesses or Justice League now they're Justice League bubbles or Disney princess bubbles and I got them way under budget. Before keto, this is something that I used to purchase as an alternative to candy snacks when passing out at Halloween. And it does fit into our budget. You get 10 pouches for just $2. And it sounds great. They're 80 calorie pouches. They're fat free. They're saying that fruit is our first ingredient, but let's see what other ingredients there are. There's a fruit puree, but we don't know how much of any of these fruits are actually in here. There's grape, peach, orange, strawberry, and raspberry. You've got corn syrup and sugar and modified cornstarch. And then, I mean, it just keeps going. Lots of chemicals and 20 carbohydrates per pouch and 11 grams of sugar. So, I mean, it sounds great. It sounds like it's, you know, you're doing better than handing out candy, but it's not really great. With 50 pairs for $9.88, this totally falls within our budget. You could just, you know, cut around each set, give the cardboard backer to each trick-or-treater, you know, that you see has earrings. And this would be a nice little giveaway. 
Oh my goodness, don't you just love it when God provides exactly what you need? I needed um, a kiddie pool for an activity that we're gonna be doing for this next series. They're gonna have to race some boats on the stage. And I was like, where in the world am I gonna get this after summer? Well, Walmart, and I only paid $1.50. Also, this kiddie pool is about to be my umbrella because it is pouring out. My office is still sort of clean. I've got my third monitor set up right now, but I'm actually looking to replace two of these monitors with one big 49 inch monitor. The only problem is it is going to take up the entire desk to the point where I may have to put it over there because it's gonna go all the way from my air filter to the edge of the desk. What do you guys think? 38 inch or 49 inches? Well, that was a lot of fun. I hope I gave you a couple of ideas for some candy alternatives for Halloween. We just went to Target and Walmart. I am sure that you guys could come up with even more creative ideas. I was thinking after I found the bubbles in the wedding section that another great place to shop would be craft stores. Go to Michael's, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Joann Fabrics, and there are a lot of different party favors, and you can use one of their 40% off coupons and get an even deeper discount. So now we're gonna head home because I think Joe is home from work and I'm about to get some lunch. Okay, Rachel's home. I waited for her, I didn't eat anything. I just had that little uh, beef stick this morning and I had my Zip Fizz. Let's go get her so we can eat lunch. I've been waiting for you. I was gonna eat without you because I'm eating so many more calories than you, I felt bad, but. <laughs> I you got, should feel bad. I got so busy, I like didn't even get a chance to eat. But I ate a zip fit, I drank a zip fizz this morning. And then when I was at work, I was going through my little center console and I found a beef stick. So I broke my fast with a stupid beef stick. Nice, you love beef sticks. Yeah, but that's why I don't want to keep snacks in the car because You'll like, eat them. I eat them. So here's what I'm eating for lunch. By the way, my calories for the week are 2,220. When you're considering I was maintaining it like 1,800, like I'm significantly going up in calories. Yeah, and you're staying the same? I'm actually, finally, the scale is starting to go down again, probably because I've been getting some sleep with the exception of last night where I went to bed at like 4 a.m. and then woke up at seven, but I've been going to bed at like 12 o'clock, one o'clock and getting up at like six o'clock. Yeah. So five hours of sleep is a lot for me and the scale's been going down, so I'm down to, uh, like 184.7 this morning. Good so for you. Finally going down. So what are your calories now for the week? 1670. 1670. Okay, so we're going over our carbs a little bit today. Our total carbs, not our net carbs or anything uh, like that. But it's Friday. I have a game tonight, Friday. so I don't know if we're going to do dessert. because. But we do have to uh, do an ice cream review. Oh, poor us. Killer Creamery sent us their new flavor to try. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's supposed to be like a salted caramel, but it's kale melt. It's like made with kale. Is it going to be green? I don't know. I haven't even opened it up. So we're going to maybe do that a little bit later. But I just felt like a smart bun. Hey. So we're doing a smart bun. Is this a joke? What you you, you burnt my bun a little. I took them out of the freezer. I didn't have time to defrost them, so I stuck it in the toaster oven. Is it because my butt is burnt a little? Oh, well, I didn't even think about that. Mine my is a bun? little bit too. My you buns want are my burnt. bun, I'll take the one that's more burnt. No, nah, it's all right. I just, I stuck them in the toaster oven to defrost them, and like, it only takes a couple of seconds. Overkilled. Okay, so I've got a half pound, uh, 8515 grass-fed ground beef burger. Yum. Um, I used our hamburger recipe that's on our website. Yes, check it out. It's really good. Uh, I've got an ounce of Gouda cheese. It's very Gouda. I've got a tablespoon of our mayonnaise our, that we make. That I made. I've got two eggs. I think we're out of that one. The batch that's in there now I made. We go through it so quickly. I've got a pickle, some lettuce, and then I've got this really cool guacamole that I found at Publix. It's got like bacon in it. Oh, wow, nice. So I don't know the exact, I'll put my exact macros for my meal there across the, across the bottom of the screen, but it's like a thousand calories, something like that. So my burger is cheeseless. You don't have any cheese. And I only have one egg. You only have one egg. You have about half of the, three quarters of a tablespoon of mayonnaise, and you have a little bit less guacamole. Guacamole. I'm just gonna eat more later. That's all right. So that is what we're eating. What did you do today that you weren't home when I got home? Because I wanted to go to the store. I think you must have like subconsciously known where I wanted to go. Well, I wanted to find some 
trick or treat options that weren't candy related. Is that what all those videos are that keep coming through my phone? Yep. So you're making like, tonight's gonna be a nightmare to edit this video. Have fun. <laughs> I wanted to go to the mall. Oh. But I wanted to go to Lake Crescent because they're having a huge sale. That's not trick or treat prices. And I want to, well, I want to make my own ghee, but I don't really have the proper pots to make my own ghee. I only have, ghee. for those kind of pots, I only have non-stick and you really need like a good cast iron or stainless steel and I don't have those kind of pots. So I wanted to go get like a little one and a half, two quart stock pot. Oh wow, that guacamole is really good. Is there, uh, yeah, I've had that one before. I don't think you've had it, right? No. Yeah, it's good. So. So yeah, I think you just kind of knew in the back of your mind, like he wants to go to Lake Crusade. So, so I've got I'm to not do something coming else. home. That's okay. I'm looking for a new monitor. I mentioned it in like part of the vlog. I'm, I want to get way like, more than a pot. It's way more, but you know, oh. I do so much video editing between this and between church and everything else. Okay, that bite did not work. <laughs> I was everywhere. I'm looking for, I, instead of having three screens, I want to have my computer and one big screen. So I'm looking at either a 38 inch or a 49 inch, but now I'm measuring my desk. The 49 inch, I would have to move myself in front of the bird because it's going to take the entire desk. He wants like mission control. It would really be cool. It's like 49 inches from one side to the other. It's, it's huge. Wow. It's actually would be the equivalent of like two of my monitors put side to side. So I think I'm going to right now do is like put them side to side and see like, can I even handle that? Or should I go down to the 38 inch one? Well, it's 530. I'm heading out the door to my game. Rachel went to the church to start like prepping for tomorrow. And then she's got to go get Caleb. I'm bringing a water with me. And then I've also got a keto brick puck, 125 calories. It's the peanut butter flavor. That'll kind of tide me over. And then unfortunately, I'm going to eat late. This is just part of the problem when... It cups the football season because I don't want to eat a whole lot right before a game and I'm not going to get home till 10 o'clock, but we only have a few more weeks of the season and I have another big game tonight. It's university school at Nova Southeastern against uh, Christopher Columbus from Miami. Rachel's watching Korean dramas. <laughs> it's 930. I just got home from my game. I don't feel like closing out the vlog. Can we just close it out in the morning? I think we should. Yeah, so we turn the light on so at least we can see now. So yeah, we're gonna finish out this what I eat in a day tomorrow morning because I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm gonna cook dinner, but I don't feel like filming anymore. I'm sort of gonna pass out. So I don't have to cook dinner for you, right? You're just not gonna eat. This is possible, like I'm that tired. You're chewing gum though, so that'll keep you awake. True. Did you have any coffee since you broke your coffee fast today? I have not. Just the coffee would break in the fast. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. High five. So we're just gonna eat burgers again, but while I'm cooking, this is Anthony's plate. We're gonna turn him into like a carnivore keto person yet because he's eating just a pile of ground beef, eggs, and bacon. So this will be Rachel's dinner. We've got a six ounce ground beef patty. One egg that Anthony made with sriracha on it, some lettuce, some mayonnaise, and an ounce of Gouda cheese underneath there. So I'm having a half pound burger. I've got an ounce of Gouda cheese. We've got some chef chamois butter, an egg, and this is like a cauliflower salad with bacon, some celery, and mayonnaise. Early the next morning. Coffee. I'm now obsessed with this new maple pumpkin stuff. We have a review coming out on it, but this stuff is amazing. So we are gonna drink some coffee. If I can do this with one hand. That's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. I know, I'm not actually measuring it out, but I'm pretty good at doing that. We're going to do a Rachel size cup of coffee. And my little spoon. So good morning. It's like 7 a.m. I just got up. Rachel is still sleeping, which I'm actually really happy about because she's starting to sleep like I do. She's just so busy and uh, I'm glad to see her getting some rest. But yeah, I got up um, having my coffee my in my jack mug who right now is on an angry face but it's actually a sad face it's just the way i'm holding the cup 
uh, but I've got a lot of work to do this morning. I need to finish editing uh, this vlog so that we can get it up this morning. Um, then I have to go to the church. I have to set up like computers and put all the curriculum in the computers for the new series, especially for this week. And then I got to hang the banner in the elementary room because we try to make the, uh, especially the elementary room have like a lot of environmental stuff because it would keep the kids engaged. Then at one o'clock, Anthony and I have a, what's called the Mighty Mites football game. It's little kids. It's like six year olds. And it's supposed to be a lot of fun. It's supposed to be like something where the kids can get introduced to the sport. And, you know, it's kind of cute to watch them line up. Like none of them can line up right. And when the ball gets snapped, they all kind of go after the ball. It's kind of funny. But the parents are horrible. I mean, they, they think these kids are playing the Super Bowl. There's not supposed to be any scoring or anything like that. Now, you know, where they, they can score, but we don't keep score. And the parents, like I said, they think it's the Super Bowl. They'll start yelling like, he's holding. I'm like, they're all holding. Or they'll yell like, oh, well, he's lined up in the neutral zone. I'm like, coach, you know, you're lucky if you can get these kids to sit still. They're like five and six years old. But they treat it so seriously, I generally avoid them like the plague. But nobody on my crew wanted to do them this week, so Anthony and I are stuck doing them. Then after that, we have three more football games starting at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. So we won't be home until like, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock. And then Rachel, she's got two services at church. So, and then tomorrow, you know, starts all over again at 4 a.m. So I'm gonna go wake Rachel up so we can close out this vlog. Good morning, Grayson. Who's that? It's mommy. <laughs> Mommy's awake. That was a good sleep. That was a good sleep? I slept in. What time is it? It's like 7.15. Whoa! Yeah. Well, I'll let you get some coffee. Are you going to drink coffee? I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee. With maple pumpkin. <laughs> you know it. So, okay. So get your cup of coffee. We'll finish this up. Uh, My hair is scary. That's okay. You're still beautiful. Good morning again. Good morning. We're gonna close out this vlog. We just didn't feel like filming it out last night. I am so sorry, but I could not get out of my bed once I laid down. It was like, nope, that's where I live now. You did get back up to eat though. Well, I mean- Well, you didn't get out of bed. I sat up. You sat up to eat. So yeah, yesterday was pretty much burger day. We had burgers for breakfast and, well, burgers for lunch and then burgers for dinner. Burgers for dinner. You get a burger and you get a burger and you get a burger. <laughs> Today though, is gonna be a little bit different. It's pretty much gonna be maybe one or two eggs. I think we actually have some hard boiled eggs we have to use up, so it's gonna be egg salad. Yes. And keto chow, because it's just too busy every day for me. Yeah. I mean. No, it's time to cook early. I gotta be out of the house. Well, I've got, it's already here. I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get everything done, because it's like 7.30 now. I've gotta finish editing this, get out the door, go fix the computer, get back home, pick up Anthony, get back out the door by like 12, 15 to get to the field to be there till 10 o'clock. I don't even know when I'm gonna have time to eat. Maybe we should just fast today. Hey, well, I mean, I'm gonna finish this coffee though. <laughs> so I've decided here's my new thing with coffee before we close this out. So since you broke your coffee fast with doing the review of the maple pumpkin. And I have washed my cup since yesterday. <laughs> Which this stuff is amazing. It's really good. It is super coffee. You didn't even see. So while you were gone yesterday, I had the rest of my like little super coffee drinks got delivered. Oh. So my refrigerator is now filled with three cases of super coffee. Well, and that's all for you because I do like hot coffee. Yeah, I like I said, but again, the expiration date on them is like ridiculous. It's like January or February or something like that. Yeah. And so I'll drink them up and I've got them in the refrigerator even though they don't come refrigerated, which is kind of weird. But with the maple pumpkin flavor, I'm glad that I ordered them because the price went back up the day I got them. They were like $38 and 20% off and free shipping. So if you have the room, like order them. order them because they said it's a limited time, like fall flavor. And then that flavor is going away. Just don't like open them until you're ready. To yeah, them. no, but I'm talking about the little super coffees. And then we have six of the maple pumpkin things. But so here's what I've decided to do with the coffee. So you said that you were like spinning from drinking coffee. I was, it was weird. It was a really weird sensation, um, but I enjoy coffee. So I think this is gonna be one cup and 
Yeah. Cut myself off. I mean, this is a giant cup. So that's what but. I'm going to do is since our coffee machine allows you to decide how many ounces or how many cups, it's like up to 12 cups. I'm setting it to 10 cups. We each get one cup out of it and then we're not turning the coffee machine back on the rest of the day. Yeah. Now, 10 cups according to that is this and that. So the I think pot lying. the pot's empty. Yeah, but So we will not make another pot of coffee. If I want more coffee or something like that, I'll just go to the store and buy it because I don't want to do something that's going to let you go back down the two pot a day. Yeah. Half. Because I mean, if I was drinking enough and wasn't I wasn't feeling caffeinated at all and yet just one of these is now making me shake after the detox then yeah, I don't want to go back. Yeah. I don't want to go back to that land. Well, that is our uh, what I eat in a day slash vlog for today. If you like what you saw, please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.